Okay, so lesson 90. For this review, we will use these ideas. So we're reviewing 79. Let me recognize the problem so it can be solved. Let me realize today that the problem is always some form of grievance that I would cherish. Let me also understand that the solution is always a miracle with which I let the grievance be replaced. I like this. Um, yeah. so, so let's say I've got um, a grievance around uh, money and property. So let me realize that the problem is some form of grievance. I'm not happy that the property has got, hasn't got a tenant yet, mm. so it's a grievance. Or I'm, I'm fearful that the, you know, um, uh, it's not safe unless there's a nice tenant in the property. So it's because I'm cherishing a grievance. And I think cher the word cherish is really instrumental because the early lessons of A Course in Miracles says to make everything meaningless. So the opposite of making something meaningful is to cherish it or make it important or meaningful or to value it. And therefore, uh, that then creates a resentment or a fear, a grievance or, or some kind of fear or stuck energy around it. So the problem is I'm cherishing it, I'm making the situation meaningful or important or giving it some kind of, um, some kind of power. So let me also understand that the solution is always a miracle uh, with which I let the grievance be replaced. You know, for me the miracle is to completely let it go so I can be in the divine truth and to see it in divine truth. So today I would remember the simplicity of salvation by reinforcing the lesson that there is one problem and one solution. The problem is a grievance, the solution is a miracle, and I invite the solution to come to me through my forgiveness of the grievance and my welcome of the miracle that takes its place. Specific applications of this idea might be in these forms. This presents a problem to me which I would have resolved. So this uh, tenancy situation presents a problem to me which I would have resolved. Or the, another one is the miracle behind this grievance will resolve it for me. So the miracle behind my tenancy situation, the miracle behind this grievance of the tenancy situation will resolve it for me, yes. Uh, the answer to this problem is the miracle it conceals. That's interesting. So the answer to this problem with my tenancy situation is the miracle that it conceals. Um, and also we're reviewing lesson 80, which is let me recognize my problems have been solved. I seem to have problems only because I am misusing time. I believe that the problem comes first and time must elapse before it can be worked out. I do not see the problem and the answer as simultaneous in their occurrence. This is because I do not yet realize that God has placed the answer together with the problem so that they cannot be separated by time. The Holy Spirit will teach me this if I will let him, and I will understand it is impossible that I could have a problem which has not been solved already. So that's a really, uh, that, that is really, really good, and I do, I do believe it, because often when you see a situation differently, sometimes miracles can happen with it, with it instantly. And, uh, I've been. Uh, I remember once I was in a in a in a, a spiritual group, and I prayed uh, to have something uh, for a miracle to see a situation differently. And I got a phone call within that meeting, and it was help coming towards the answer of that thing. So it's almost like if I let it go, then divine intervention or the mm. s sorting of that problem can happen within a split second. So it, also the way I sort of see it, it's just my blocks within me. I mean, even if I let go of all my blocks, it wouldn't be a problem anyway, because once, you, once you're in those high spiritual states, nothing is a problem. But also on a practical level, also when I let things go, often on a practical level, grace will sort out the, the problem, in a, can sort out the problem within a split second as well. 
So, uh, so that's a very powerful. So these forms of the idea will be useful for specific applications. I need not wait for this to be resolved. So I need not wait for my vacant tendency situation to be resolved. Another one is, the answer to this problem is already given me if I will accept it. Okay. So the answer to my tendency problem is already given me if I will accept it. I sort of get the feeling like, you know, just to have faith that the problem is solved by mm -hmm. grace. And if I fully accept that, then I'll let the grievance go. Time cannot separate this problem or its solution. That's lovely. So it's almost like saying, if I have the problem be in time, then I can't let God fix it right now. So time cannot separate this problem from its solution. Okay, and, uh, okay.